Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to Vlogmas. On one of my last recent videos, I had a comment from one of you requesting that I do a video about my makeup collection. Now I say collection very loosely. I don't have like a huge collection that you guys are probably used to watching, but I do have a fair amount that I really enjoy and it's products that I love and would totally recommend to you guys so I don't see the harm in at least showing you. Uh, so if that's something that you're interested in, definitely hit the like button and also while you're there, there. Don't forget to subscribe. We are so close to a thousand and I really love your help getting there. So without further ado, let's jump on into my makeup collection. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I brought my um, vanity up here onto my dresser because I don't have a full standing vanity. It did break in the move, which I was a little bit upset about, but that's totally fine. I just haven't gotten around to buying a new one. So when you pull it out, I kind of have it and also please ignore my band-aid, okay? I'm having some... <laughs> fingernail situations, but when you pull it out, this is what it looks like. On this side, I have all of my face stuff, and then this side is like all eyes and some lip. So, we'll close this one off. So I'll kind of just pull things out um, as they're organized and just kind of talk you through them that way. Over here, I have some of uh, my priming stuff. This is my Glossier Priming Moisturizer, which I'm kind of eh about. I have a little bit left over, and it's good. It's not like the best, so that's, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about it. And then I have this e.l.f. Poreless Primer right here. Again, this is kind of like a putty almost, and it's actually horrible. So I don't know why that's in there. I should probably really clean that out, but I don't really use a ton of primers on my face. I find that my moisturizer is kind of doing it for me already. So yeah, I don't really use any of that stuff. Moving on, we have kind of all of my concealers. So these are four of my favorites. I love the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. Why is this so hard for me? And then this is another tried and true. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I will have everything linked below so you guys can just quickly run and grab it for yourself if you're interested. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this stuff, it's what I'm wearing today. It's one of my favorites. And then this is the NYX Gotcha Covered concealer and this is one that's very heavy duty um, but it's still really good I just don't use it a ton because my skin doesn't really need it anymore but when I do need that full full coverage this is a great one I also just realized I'm not wearing my wedding ring okay so those are all of my concealers for the moment I really have been loving those ones specifically and I try really hard to keep things in my makeup collection that I love and use all of the time because then it just seems wasteful and if I don't love something then I don't want to keep it in there so I guess I should do this away, but these are like a couple bucks, but you know what I mean. So next I have like my foundations that I'm using right now. This is the Revlon Candid. It's kind of like a moisturizing, like a moisturizer and a foundation in one, and I really do love the coverage. I wear this specifically to work because it's easy to put on and it's not super heavy. Um, and yeah, I've actually been loving this consistency and what it does for my skin. So that is up front and center because I use it a lot because I go to work every single day. Another one when I'm feeling like I have something big to do or I want to look really good and really glam um, is the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation. I love this stuff. Great coverage, great color, great longevity. Um, so yeah, it's a really good one. And then this one, I have just as like a last resort backup. It's not one of my favorites. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage. It's a little too full coverage to me and the color was a little bit off. And so yeah, it's kind of like a backup. If I, I like to keep something like that in case of dire emergencies, but yeah, it's not my favorite. Moving on to like this center section, I kind of have it split up into different parts of my face. So over here we have powders. So two that I love, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I love to set my eyes with this. This is my favorite and I have it in the color Fair. I don't really know if they have a translucent. Um, so I just use this for my eyes and it works wonderfully. It keeps my eyeshadow in place. I kind of use that as my primer along with concealer. Um, and then, for the rest of my face, I've just been using this Bare Minerals, their original like loose powder situation and I absolutely love this. I love it when I don't have any foundation on, I love it on top of foundation. It just gives great coverage and sets my makeup well. So those are the two powders that I love. Moving right along to bronzer, I have a couple that are some of my favorites. 
So I'm pretty sure this is the Catrice, the like little uh, stickers come off. I love it because it has like a nice glow to it and sheen and so I love to wear this in the summer specifically or when I have like something fun to do. I wore this for my holiday party. It looks beautiful on the skin and especially with my skin tone, I'm pretty fair, but it works really well. So I keep that in there. I also have one of the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Soleil. Ooh. One of my favorites, go back to it. It is kind of a little bit on the warmer side, um, so in the summer is when I like to use this because when I'm so fair, it doesn't work well with my skin, but when I have a little bit of a tan, it's not too bad. And again, it has a little bit of like that gold flaking running through, which again is so pretty in the summer. Um, this is kind of my favorite right now for winter. Sorry, it's hard to see with my light, but this is the Wet n Wild Bronzer in the shade Sunset, and I love it. It's just a nice matte, bronzer. It's a couple bucks at the grocery store and it just works so well on my skin tone and it's just a nice neutral brown. It's not too red, it's not too cool, um, and yeah, it's just like that matte. So I have a lot of like highlight bronzer duos, which I really do love, um, but I really needed just a matte bronzer. So that's one that I'm using right now and I really love it. And then lastly, I have this Wet n Wild little bronzing stick, like contour stick. Um, and I like it. It kind of takes a lot of work, in my opinion, but it's beautiful for the summer. So I, that's kind of when I whip it out. Moving on to blushes. I have three that I keep in here. My favorite of all favorite is the Burt's Bees um, Ola Glow in Suzanne's. That is my favorite. And I love it so much. So I wear this all the time. It's so easy. I love a cream blush. It just goes on beautifully. It's easy to blend out. Um, looks really great on the skin. So I have that one there. I have this Laura Mercier blush. This is in the shade Rose and I love this. It is kind of like a rosier tone. Um, so it doesn't work all the time on me, I find. Uh, but in the summer, it looks really pretty. And then another fun one is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. This is such an old time favorite. It's such a beautiful color. It gives great pigment on the skin. It has a little bit of that shimmer, which is fun. Um, so yeah, those are the three that I love to pull out and they just work well for me. So in the back here are all of my highlighters. Now a lot of these were gifted to me by my sister. She kind of went through a highlighter phase and then she didn't, so she gave them all to me. Some of them were brand new, so I love that. Um, so I have a couple things over here. These are just the L'Oreal Lumi Glow More. They're kind of like illuminating drops. You can mix them into your moisturizer in the summer. You can mix them into your foundation. I really love it. I just do a little bit because this color is very bronzed, but it's so fun in the summer. I also have my MAC strobe cream. I love to use this on and off. Um, gives a great sheen to the skin. So, especially mixing with foundation. I have a tiny little Becca highlighter. This is in the shade white, or no, this is in the shade vanilla quartz. It's very, oh, it's very broken. <laughs> I'll probably find that, but that's a little bit upsetting, but it is really pretty and broken things like this are easy to fix with a little bit of alcohol. And I have this Lush Feeling Younger. It's kind of like a cream, liquidy highlight. I haven't played around with it a ton. I just keep it in here. I think it's actually probably through its expiration date. Yeah, so I need to get rid of that. <laughs> but it did seem interesting. Let me know down below if you guys have used those. And then a couple of my favorites, this is the Ofra Highlight in Glazed Donut. It's such a nice highlight. Very, very pigmented. A little goes a long way with that, so that's fun on like a date night. Um, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight. This is in the shade, I can never figure out this shade, but it's pretty. It's what I'm using right now. I always like pick a highlighter and kind of keep it <laughs> for like five months and then I'll switch them out. So yeah, this has been one of my favorites and I love it. And then back here we have a couple of the Physicians Formula. I love their highlighters. This one's a nice little bronzy color. This one is in the shade Champagne. So it's beautiful for the summer. Oof, I love that. They just make you look wet and that's what I love in the summer, just to look really wet and dewy. And then this one is in the shade Pearl. So, ugh, stunning. So these are really nice. Easy to apply with your finger or a brush. 
Now, Wet n Wild have some of my favorite highlighters, so I have three from them here. Um, this one is in the shade Golden Flower Crown, and ooh, the lid is a little broken, but it's a nice bronze shade, and it's really pretty. This one is the one that I use the most. This is in the shade... Ooh, I think I took off the sticker, so I'll have to look for it. But this one I use the most because it's just like a nice peachy pink iridescent and it looks really nice on my skin. So that's one of my favorites. But for some reason, all of the lids always break for me. And then this one I was gifted. This is in the shade Caught in Your Web. And it was like their um, Halloween edition. I don't know if you can see. There's like a little skull in there. But it's just too pearly and like iridescent for me. It kind of has like purple undertones, which I don't really use a ton. So I keep it in there for like Halloween makeup, that sort of thing. And then the last three are just kind of little random ones. I have a Pure Essence. This is their nude highlighter, and I love this. This is such a gorgeous highlight. It's just a nice highlighter, not a funky color. Um, I really love that. This one I don't use a ton. This is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. And it's just a little dark for me. So that should probably go. And then you can't have highlights without your Mary Lou highlighter. So from the bomb, I love this. I always switch between these two and like one of my wet and wild ones and then in the summer is when i'll dip into the physician's formula so that's kind of all of my face in a drawer like i said it's not a ton um, but it's enough variety to like keep me excited i always like will incorporate new things when i feel like i need them but for the most part i kind of have three bronzers three blushes kind of keeps me happy so we'll move along to our eyes so this is my eye drawer, and again, I kind of separate it into little categories. So right here are all of my palettes. So this is like a face palette, but I still put it with like all of my eyeshadows. This is the Flower face palette. It has a nice little highlight trio, which is nice. I haven't used it a ton. Um, Flower, I haven't really had the best luck, so let me know what you think about them. But Next, I have this Revolution eye palette, and I was so interested in Revolution, like like last year? When did they come out? I don't remember. But um, I love this eyeshadow palette. It's not like the best of the best. I will say that. It's affordable and it's nice. It's pretty colors, but the pigment isn't the best out there. So just keep that in mind. Um, but it's nice to have. It's nice. It's like nice to have those easy little palettes every once in a while. I have a very dirty modern renaissance palette. Um, again, this is one that I'll definitely repurchase because of these two shades right here. The Golden Child and Vermeer are some of my favorite shades. I definitely hit pan on those pretty quickly so I definitely need to repurchase it but for now I'm kind of just getting by without it uh, but that's one that I really love I also have the ColourPop Exoella um, brunch date palette this is such a good one I use this daily actually because I really love um, some of her like transition shade here I love her little highlight shade there uh, I still have never used the blue over here but I just have found that this has just been really nice to use so I love it and I keep this where I do my daily makeup because it's so easy to use. And then I have some staples. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm sure you guys have already seen and love this one as well. It's so nice, so many different options. The shades are so beautiful. They blend so well. This palette here, my little sister actually gave to me, so I just like to keep it because literally every time I open it, I think of her. So yeah, I haven't really used a ton of this, but it's just fun to have like silly makeup like this. I don't know, it's just fun that like she thought of me with this gift, so I kept it. And then on the bottom, I have the James Charles palette. It's very dark, you can't even see. Um, but yeah, this is another one that I absolutely love. Like all of the browns here are beautiful. I haven't, I never really use any of the colors, but all of the browns, all of the mauves, those deeper, moody, warmer tones are definitely some that I use daily. So those are all of my eyeshadow palettes, some face palettes. Um, and then I have like little containers full of all of my stuff. So I have like a little eye gel pot, which is nice. This was like Halloween makeup, so I just keep it in here. It's just little glitter. Um, this is my Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. I loved these in the summer. Definitely picking up more this um, upcoming summer because they're so easy, they're so beautiful. And then I have a mascara. This is the I Love Extreme. I talked about this many, many times. It's my number one mascara. I love it. Um, I have a very dried out NYX, that's the point. This is like a nice eyeliner pen. It's nice, it dried out so quickly, so I don't even know if that's worth it. I'd rather use like a gel pot there. And then I have two of my favorite, oh, <laughs> that rolled away. These are the Maybelline little eyebrow pencils. So I've talked about these before. And I just kind of keep everything 
everything in there, works great, contains it all just in one place and keeps it nice and organized. Now, to be honest, I have lip products in my bags, in my closet, like I have them everywhere, so it's kind of hard to like always contain them, but these are ones that I just had in here. This is the ColourPop and um, Exoella, their little collaboration, and this is At Me. This is their matte liquid lip, and I love it. It's such a good one. So I use this one daily. I really, really love that shade color. And then this is my new ColourPop liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Times Square. This again was for like, I was an alien for Halloween, so I got like glitter lip gloss. Fun to have. And then this is my JLo exclusive collection. This is in the shade Jennifer's Nude. Talked about this before too, this Vlogmas, and I love it. So, those are the lip products that I have literally right now, but again, if you guys have any lip products, you know that they run away faster than anything, so I'm pretty sure I have them running throughout the house. Um, I have a nice little eyelash curler. This was sent to me by Influencer, but in my little Influencer box. Uh, but I don't even use it. I'm like terribly afraid of these so If someone wants this let me know. I have a pack of these little falsies from kiss I heard a youtuber talking that these are her favorite I tried them and they weren't my style particularly but they are good to have so I just keep them in here just in case and then same with like all of my Halloween makeup I had this from Halloween and it was actually really pretty. I got all of this stuff this is the starlit studio i got this at target and actually looked really pretty on halloween so yeah that's kind of all for eyes and that sort of thing so that is everything in my makeup collection i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what i have the products that i love let me know your thoughts down below on any of these products if you use them or if you have any recommendations for me i always love buying makeup it's one of my favorite things to buy so leave your recommendations down below and i will see you guys tomorrow bye